trouble, troubles of the world. And uh, that world itself and the people whose lived experience we are watching, um, often on our television screens um, here in the West, um, is Henry Naylor's latest play, Borders, which is playing at the Gilded Balloon, um, supported by uh, the Gilded Balloon itself and the Redbeard Company. Um, this is a play which is, is not part of Henry Naylor's um, previous trilogy about the Middle East, um, which finished last year with his wonderful monologue, um, Angel. Uh, but um, it is a play which returns to the subject of Syria um, and of the devastation of that country um, by, the, by the, the civil war that has broken out, well, civil war, the, the war which has broken out there and has so, uh, moved so many different actors now um, intervening in it. Um, so the show takes the form of a double monologue. One of the characters is a girl that we know simply as Nameless, um, who lives in the city of Holmes and who gradually finds her life there becoming more and more impossible, but whose father has been a dissident against the Assad regime, um, imprisoned and killed when she was very young, and carries on that tradition by being a brilliant graffiti artist, going out and drawing wonderful anti-regime graffiti uh, on the walls um, of the devastated city. And meanwhile, in the West, we're following the career of a photographer called Simon Nightingale, who has kind of climbed the greasy pole of media fame by taking very striking pictures of people in the developing world caught up um, in various disasters, but whose life at the very end of the play uh, comes face to face with Nameless's life um, um, in the most dramatic um, of situations. And it's a moment that will not only decide whether she lives or dies physically, but also in a sense whether he lives or dies as a kind of fully um, loving and, and, and understanding human being. So it's a very, very powerful du double monologue by Henry Naylor, who has made such a fantastic um, contribution um, to, the, to the Fringe over recent years. It's beautifully performed by Avital Lvova and uh, Graham O'Mara, and I hope that as many people as possible from the company come up. <laughs> come on, all of you. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, folks. Uh, uh, we've, um, we've been doing quite a lot of touring this last year, and, and uh, the Fringe First is still, and I think will be for as, for as long as my lifetime, the most famous Fringe Award in the world. So uh, to, to have won this, this is, this is a great honour for, for, for us all who, who've, uh, uh, who, who are getting one today. So thank you very much. Uh, we, we've got such a fabulous team that we've been working with. Um, obviously, the Gilda Balloon, come on! <laughs> <laughs> My, in the engine room, my wife has, has just been terrific. But these two guys have, have just been wonderful. Uh, it's been lovely working with both Graham and, uh, and, and uh, also particularly with Avital, who I've been working with on Angel for the last year. I mean, um, for those of you who, who uh, know me, I mean, it's been a very tough year. Last year, um, the actress who's in our play called Angel uh, unfortunately died. And um, uh, it, so it, it's been very difficult to, to actually to, to be able to come back here uh, and, and, and do a show and, and with the support of you guys thank you so much uh, uh, sorry get a bit emotional <laughs> oh, I didn't think I was going to do that um, uh, but uh, yeah so so bless you all and thank you so much for this it's been been, been wonderful thank, thank you, you very much. <laughs>